Behold, the Band-Aid. But where did it come from? Meet Earl Dixon, born in 1892. In 1920, Earl Dixon was a newly married employee of Johnson & Johnson. His new wife, Josephine, frequently burned Ouch. or cut Ouch. her fingers while cooking, and there wasn't an easy way for her to bandage her own wounds. Each day, Earl had to cut pieces of adhesive tape and gauze to make bandages. After a few weeks of this, Earl realized that something had to change. So one day he sat down and prepared several bandages in advance, attaching gauze squares along an adhesive strip and covering it with a fabric called crinoline. Instead of waiting for aid all day long, Josephine only needed to cut off a piece of the strip. Earl told his boss about the invention and soon Johnson & Johnson produced the world's first adhesive bandages, which they called band-aids. So how genius is this inventor? On the American Dream scale, Earl gets a 5 out of 5. With a relatively simple idea, Earl Dixon created a world-famous brand and eventually became Vice President of Johnson & Johnson. On the Benefit to Humanity scale, he gets a 4. Adhesive bandages are a time-saving, convenient, and sterile solution to minor cuts and scratches. On the Ripple Effect scale, he gets a 4. The original Band-Aid design inspired a growing collection of specialized bandages of all shapes and sizes. To date, over a hundred billion bandages have been made. Let us know what you think. Email genius at HowStuffWorks.com. Also, be sure to check out our other HowStuffWorks podcasts on iTunes.